In this video, we will be discussing how to be safe and smart online. We will be covering how to make good choices about how to use technology responsibly and respectfully, how to demonstrate the understanding of cyberbullying, safety, security, and privacy, our digital footprint and online reputation, and how to conduct proper research and citation. Social media has a time and a place. Before accessing Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube on your Chromebook, ask yourself, is this serving an educational purpose? If the answer is no, then refrain from using. At any time, the school district can monitor your movements on your Chromebook, whether you are at home or school. If it appears you are using your educational device for purposes other than for school, you could face behavioral consequences, and this privilege may be taken away. In kindergarten, we learned that sharing is caring. However, the digital age offers new territories. Be cautious when sharing personal information with those you may not know. Keep your usernames and passwords private. If at any time you feel your account has been compromised, tell an adult. There will be times in which you are digitally completing an assignment. Only share those documents with others if it is a group project. Maintain professional conduct and language. Be aware that actions completed in Google Apps can be traced. We spend lots of time online. We text, we comment, we share. It's a big part of our lives. But communicating with someone online is just like talking to them in real life. Everyone appreciates politeness and no one likes it when people make fun, spread gossip, rumors, or lies. The fact is, some people do try to hurt others online. It's called cyberbullying, and it's a lose-lose situation. It makes the person being harassed feel bad, and it makes the bully look bad. It might lead to trouble the school authorities or even the police. If someone's harassing you online, it's important not to respond. That's because bullies are looking for a reaction. Block them if you can. Ignore them if you can't. If it continues, save the evidence and ask an adult for help. And don't be afraid to stand up for yourself or to stand up for someone else being cyberbullied. This behavior usually stops pretty quickly when someone speaks up. And when you're communicating online, remember to treat people the way you'd like to be treated. Know how to handle yourself, because being online is part of your life. So stop and think before you click. The text video is number one, your words matter. And number two, if you find yourself in this situation, whether you are being hurt or know of someone else who is being bullied, speak to an adult. We always want to act with integrity. Some think that what we do online is separate from our real lives. But what we do online matters offline too. All of your online actions constitute your digital footprint. Consider that college recruiters and potential employers have the capability to locate profiles and images you have posted. There are ways that you can create a positive online presence. For example, design a website, digital portfolio, or a blog that demonstrate your best school works. Upload videos to your YouTube channel and showcase your talents. Or devise an online resume outlining your achievements. These efforts will show your creativity and good communication skills. Now let's discuss using Google for research. In this clip from ABC's The Middle, the character Brick Heck discovers the power of the Internet.
Don't worry, we're not having people over. Can one of you take me to the library? Rick, do you not even notice what they did? Oh, weird. So, can one of you take me to the library? I feel like reading about Peru. No, Brick, sorry, can't. Actually, won't. <laughs> I just got home from work, and I am going to eat my pizza for once while it's still hot. That is really annoying. If you're really dying to find out about Peru, look it up online. But I like books. I like the feel of paper in my hands. Well, I like the feel of pizza in my hand, so nobody's taking you anywhere right now. Yep, it was a strange new world. And Brick knew if he had a hope of surviving in it, he was going to have to adapt. P-E-R-U Mom, Dad, a Nigerian prince desperately needs our help. There's a coup and he needs our bank account information in order to transfer millions of dollars out of his country and in exchange for our help, he'll give us $3,000. Hurry, the bank closes in half an hour. It's a scam, Brick. Not everything on the internet is true. So there's not beautiful singles in my area dying to meet me? I have to update my blog. Rick! Huh? Rick, what are you doing? You have school. I woke up in the middle of the night and you won't let me in your bed, so I came in here to look up Native Americans, which linked me to the Albuquerque Balloon Festival, which linked me to Stars, which linked me to Us Magazine, and it took me all night to finish clicking on who wore it best. Well, that's just great. You missed the bus. I voted for Ashley Tisdale, but now I'm second-guessing myself. I should make up a new username and vote for Scarlett Johansson instead. It's hard because they both wore it well. Scarlett Johansson. I'll meet you in the car. Uh-uh. Break, Ben. Okay, hold on. I'm just bidding on a speedboat. I think I'm going to get it. Brooke completes a search for Peru and becomes inundated with results. If you find yourself in this situation, click on the gear found in the upper right-hand corner. This tool will help you find pages with specific phrases, narrow your results by domain or file types, and separate searches by usage rights. You're probably familiar with Google's search engine. In fact, it's likely you use Google on a daily basis for personal, professional, and academic reasons. But you might not be familiar with the advanced search offered by Google. Google's advanced search allows users to have more control over their searches to find more pertinent websites and documents. For example, you're researching the history of the Long Island Railroad, but are having trouble finding relevant sites using just the basic search. After you've done this initial search in Google, you'll notice a box in the top right-hand corner with a gear icon on it. If you click on this, you'll find several search settings, including a link to the advanced search. Here you are given multiple boxes to mix and match your keywords so you can structure your search better to find better results. The first box is where you'll type all of the keywords that are important and need to be in the results. The second box allows you to search for important keywords as phrases, requiring that the words must be found next to each other. The third box is where you might include a variety of synonyms or related terms that will help narrow your search but are far less important than the keywords typed above. Although all of these words may be in a result, only one of them it needs to be. In the fourth box, you can type keywords to help exclude certain types of information. Perhaps you keep finding information on current Long Island Railroad schedules. To avoid this, you could type schedules in the box. Next, Google Advance provides a way to look for a range of numbers, which could be measurements, dollar amounts, dates, etc. As a reminder, Google provides basic definitions and examples to the right of each box. Below the boxes are ways to narrow your Google search further. You can choose the language of a site, select sites published in certain areas, only choose sites updated within a certain time frame, and much more. One tool that works particularly well is the site or domain limiter. This will limit your results to only certain types of sites, like government.gov, educational, 
.edu, organization.org, commercial.com, or any other of your choosing. Government and educational sites tend to provide some of the best academic information on the web, so you may want to limit your search to one or both of them. Now when you click Search in Google Advance, you'll see a big difference in the results found. Notice that your advanced search has been put into the basic search box. Remember to always check websites and documents for scholarship, accuracy, and reliability. If you need help finding a reputable website or using the Google Advanced Search, please ask a reference librarian. Not everything on the Internet is true. When developing research for a project, ensure that your sources are legitimate and reputable. If you are unclear, ask your teacher. Your teachers will also ask that research be cited. This means that you give credit to the original source. Each instructor will have a format for you to report your references. In addition, never claim the work of someone else as your own. This is called plagiarism. Plagiarism is against our code of conduct and may result in behavioral interventions. School and learning can be difficult, but by focusing your attention, you can make it simpler. Avoid gaming, shopping, and viewing entertainment videos while studying, because your job is to learn and develop your intellectual self. At this time, there is an activity I'd like you to try. Use the advanced search tool to find the answer to this question. Which state in the United States is the only to have a river border itself on the east and the west? Below is a link to a Google site. I'm sorry, a Google form. Go ahead and place your answer there. Okay, I'm done talking to you now.